For more on the results and the company's efforts on the COVID-19 vaccine front and everything else, let's bring in CEO Paul Hudson. Uh, Paul, the quarter getting relatively positive uh, marks from those analysts and investors who who follow you, and particularly the guidance as well, uh, high single digits uh, overall. Um, what is giving you sort of the confidence right now that you can hit the marks that you're putting out there in terms of what you see coming? As you said, we've had a very strong quarter one, both in sales and uh, a very high uh, performance in EPS. We restated that we're very confident in our delivery of high single digit for the year, allowing ourselves a bit of flexibility to make sure we can make investments to further drive the transformation. The real critical thing is the quarter one results are a real proof point in our transformation of our strategy. You're seeing us really make progress both scientifically and as a business and doing it during a pandemic. I think people can have a great degree of confidence that we're going to deliver this year. We have. And we're doing it uh, while we transform and deliver COVID-19 vaccines and help make them for others, too. Yeah. Uh, you know, I do wonder, Paul, a couple of days ago, you announced, of course, that uh, that deal to help manufacture Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, but there are those who also look at your own vaccine business, which continues to be an important component of your overall revenues and wonder, are you going to give up a competitive position with the growth of mRNA as a platform to develop further vaccines? So we are very confident in our position with our uh, vaccine business. We had a record year for flu last year. The year started well already this year. Um, we have uh, an incredibly important new vaccine for babies. You may have heard recently this week about RSV mm. and that uh, the number one cause of hospital admissions for babies in the United States, 50,000 a year, over 2 million visits to the pediatrician. We'll bring forward a vaccine to make sure, uh, a treatment to make sure that they don't have to go through that. On top of that, we're partnering with other companies, as you've sort of referenced, because we're a purpose-driven company. And we have to make sure that we do what we can to bring these COVID-19 vaccines forward at the right time. Because, you know, you look what's happening in the world. We're not there yet. So we're playing a part on all fronts and very confident in the long-term um, sort of strength of our vaccine business. Yeah, certainly that RSV news, uh, very promising for parents like me uh, as the mother of a nine-month-old right now. I am curious, though, Paul, uh, just to go back to the COVID vaccine uh, discussion more specifically. I mean, you have two COVID vaccines in development right now. The one that your lead project really with, with GlaxoSmithKline could be ready by the end of the year if all goes well with testing. How do you see that fitting into the broader vaccine puzzle right now as the world, or at least pockets of the world, begin to see increases in supply already? Well, we said we wanted to play our part from the very beginning. We're a purpose-driven company. You know, we'll get data next month. Um, we'll be available towards the end of the year. You know, it's simply not done yet. You've seen it, the challenges that we face in distribution as an industry, just trying to get on top of this thing, the tragic events that unfold in India. We're going to play our part. And remember, as we get to the end of the year, people will be thinking about their third shot and how to maintain the protection for the onward years. We're going to be there with both platforms, and we're really going to contribute, and, and we feel we need to. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.